This short video is to explain or demonstrate to you how easy it is to configure the One Shopping Cart um, plugin for WordPress. This goes for the premium or the free version of the plugin. Just before we start and go any further, I just want you to know that this plugin will only work with the professional version of One Shopping Cart. The pro version is the only version that allows API access to products, orders, and clients. Okay, so the pro version is the only version of One Shopping Cart that the plugin will work with. Okay, so when, once you download the a plugin either from equalserving.com or from WordPress repos plugin repository. You'll activate it, and once you do, under the settings menu in the WordPress dashboard, you'll find a new item called One SC Settings. Okay, this is where you go to make any of your configuration changes for the plugin. So the first piece of information, of course, is we need is the merchant ID. If you go into um, your One Shopping Cart um, panel, you'll notice over on the right hand side, the upper right hand, you'll see this Merc ID. Um, it's a five or six um, digit code. You're going to copy that and paste it right here into this field. Okay. The next item is the merchant key. The merchant key can be found on one shopping cart um, under my accounts and under um, the API settings. You'll go over there, um, copy the merchant key, and then paste it in this field here and it'll be a mix of characters and, and numbers. The next piece of information um, gets installed by default. Unless you have a problem with it, um, I would just leave it the way it is. So the API URI is https colon slash slash www.mcssl.com the the plugin comes with a number of images um, by default. Um, they're explained here on the forum, um, and you can access that on Equal Serving um, forum. And we're under the free plugin right now, but you can get the free or premium. There are um, these are the images that get installed with the plugin. Uh, it's a different, just color changes for the Add to Cart. And then most of your products, I would assume, have images associated with them. If you don't have images associated, it might be for like a duplicate DVD or a duplicate CD or something like that. Um, so. I've created these default images to be used within the plugin. If an image, if you prefer to create your own images, that's fine. You just have to change the settings within the plugin. No big deal. So, back to the configuration. And um, if there's no image associated with the uh, with the product, uh, then we're going to use your domain name, okay, WP content, plugins, ES1SC, images, and image not available, PNG. Okay, that's this image here. If you want to use your own image, that's fine. Just make the replacement here, use the URL to that image, and place it in, in this field. The next item is the add to cart image. Okay, by default, I'm using the black version of the of the Add to Cart. As you can see, they're all named similarly. Add to Cart black, red, white, blue, green, purple. Go in here, 
by default, like I said, it comes in with the black version. Um, you can go in and make a change to green, red, or purple, whatever you prefer. Or if you would like to use your own, just take this out and paste in the URL to your own add to cart image. Okay, the, the buy now URL. By default, I'm using what would be your domain masked URL um, from One Shopping Cart. One Shopping Cart will prompt you. Well, I'll show you here. Um, if you go into One Shopping Cart, go into Setup, and click on Domain Masking. There's a series of questions that One Shopping Cart will ask you. Um, and then they'll prepare a script for you and the script will either be for a PHP um, based server or PHP version of the software or an ASP version of the script. Um, so what happens with the domain masking is rather than using these links um, with autopilot riches in it or MC uh, SSL in it, the the links will be changed to your domain name. So the cart would be http colon slash slash www dot your domain name dot com slash cmd dot php or asp. Okay, so when I initially set up the plugin, I assumed more people were using the domain masking. Um, I'm finding that there's probably a 50-50 chance that someone is using it. So if you are using the domain masking, you're going to use http colon www, I'm sorry, www.domainname.com slash cmd.php or ASP. You're going to copy that and paste it right into this field. If you're not using the domain masking, you're going to go back into one shopping cart, log in, you're going to go to the setup menu, and under that you're going to see site links. Look for checkout view cart link and you're going to copy this entire link. You're going to copy it and paste it right into here into the buy now URL. Okay. That is it. You're going to save the changes. We're going to leave the product detail format and the product list item format as the default as it was installed. You're going to save the changes. That's, that's all you have to do for your configuration. Okay. Now what we want to do is you want to go into create a new page uh, or you can edit an existing page depending um, but what I want to do is on this store page um, I want to just list my featured products okay so in order to do that we're using WordPress shortcodes shortcodes begin with square brackets so we are type in square bracket ES1SC underbar prod list space Prod ID, prod underbar IDs equal, open quote, and now I'm going to list all of the product IDs that I want to list on this page, separated by commas. Then we close the string, and then close the short code. Okay. That piece of code, when saved, is now going to generate this page. It went out to one shopping cart and returns the image, the name of the product, the short description, the SKU, and the pricing information, along with the Add to Cart button. Okay? So that's product one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay? None of these products have, have images. Okay, that's what you would do for a product listing. If now I want to create one page that has the product details, and this is only available for those people who have the premium um, 
version of the plugin. You can then create um, individual pages, not just lists of, of products. So now you come into um, you create a new page or you go into an existing page and again we're going to use the short code key so short code uh, WordPress short code so it's a square bracket ES one SC underbar P details space PRD underbar ID equals and then the one product ID that you want to display on this page. Click update. When you view the page, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the image, the short description of the product, the uh, price, the add to cart button, and then below you're going to see the description, full description, and then the actual long description from one shopping cart and then the SKU number. It's that easy. The, when, if you go back to the configuration page, okay, this formatting here is what's dictating what you see on the product listing. Okay, so when you have multiple products on a page, that formatting is being governed by this code here. Okay, this portion here, the product detail format, dictates what you see here. Okay, so you have some flexibility in your formatting. You can change it however you would like. Um, I am using uh, classes in here, so you would just change it in your style sheet. Uh, and and that's that's all that is required. I have a very simple um, modifications that you can make. You can actually copy and paste this into your own style sheet uh, for your theme, and um, and you're ready. That's it. That's all that's to it. That's all that's required. Uh, we did create a forum um, so that you can come in and get some information if you need some additional help. But the plugin is that simple to use. Hope it helps you and, uh, and you enjoy using it. Thank you.